Hello everyone, Ruby here, and today I'd like to talk about the Oisasaur that came out with um, Ark Survival Ascended Scorched Earth. It's one of the new dinos, and it's a dino that acts like a platform saddle, wherein you can um, build a base on top of it. And it has some pretty cool stuff on it too. And so, but I'll only be touching it on um, building since I'm a builder. I'm primarily a builder in Arc. I'll not be talking about how to tame it. There are other videos out there, uh, like from Teachers Game 2, that talks about how to tame one. Um, so I was, do say this though. Um, so far, from what I've seen, Osasaur spawn on the outer edges of the map. You see them walking around, lumbering around. I've only seen them spawn at level one. I haven't seen them spawn any higher than that. So well, that's the most I was saying in regards to Team One. Um, there are other videos out there, like I said, I can uh, watch in regards to that. Now, let's focus on what I uh, what this video is about. And this is in regards to building on the Oasisaur. Uh, you know, other builders like myself would like to know what the limitations are. And so the, the creature itself is pretty impressive in regards to what it can do. Yeah, this it does make this annoying noise from the horns on its head though. It's like almost like a um I don't know if you guys can hear it. There we go. That's the noise it makes. But anyways, so there are some limitations when it comes to building on the back of one of those guys. Um the first is in regards to foundation placements. So on the back of its shell, you cannot place foundations just about anywhere. No, sorry, you cannot do that. You can only place foundations close to the center of its shell. And so I'll give you guys an example. So if I go ahead and equip, uh, what is, I'll just use this found, just triangle foundation here. And if I try to, you can see here, if I try to place it down, it's not going to place on the outer edges of its shell. And it's, it's not really just the outer edges, but it's anything a good distance from the center, it cannot place that foundation on it. It will not place. Now, um, the foundation that I placed is this outer outer rim over here. It was the most I could place foundations on it. Now, apart from foundation placements though, there are other limitations when it comes to the Oasisaur itself. And that's in regards to the items you can place on its back. Um, the game treats the shell like a platform saddle, even though there is no visible platform saddle on it. And so the same rules apply in regards to items you cannot place on platform saddle. So for instance, you cannot place vaults on its back. You cannot place tech storage on its back. Uh, thankfully, you can place um, tech uh, feeding troughs on its back though. You can place generators on its back. You can place a tech generator on its back. You cannot place another tech items on its back, like you cannot place um, the tech a replicator or anything like that. No, it will not place. Now, other than that, though, it does give you a sizable room, even though where you can place the foundations is kind of limited. I, as you can see, I threw this together real quick just to see what limitations I have, and it's it's a good size of a room. And so, for builders like myself, I've always fantasized in regards to having a dino and living the nomad lifestyle, wherein you're always moving with your base as opposed to your base being in a static area. This is exactly what this affords you. Now, a heads up though, when it comes to owning an oasis or you can only have one per tribe. So whoever gets one, you cannot have multiple oasis source per tribe, it's only one. So that's one of the other limitations with that. Now in regards to building though, um, you can place just about any other building pieces on it um, from wood, stone, adobe, like I have one here, tech walls, um, greenhouse ceiling, stone, all that stuff you can place on it. Um, in regards to um, other structures you can place, you can see here I have a grinder. I have um, a smithy over here. I have a um, fabricator over here, a chemistry bench over here. You can place all those things on there. You can even place AC units here. Oh, it's blocking. I'll, I'll move it in a bit. So you can have a mini um, a mini hatchery over there. You can place your regular beds, double bunk beds there. You can also place other things on there like your fridge, your industrial cooker, your industrial grill, your preserving bins. You can also place uh, a wooden cage. 
that way you can have your dung beetle in there for place, uh, making uh, fertilizer. You can also place large crop plots on there too, so you can grow some crops in it too. Now, in regards to turrets though, um, it's the same thing with most um, platform saddles. You cannot place regular turrets on it anymore. You can, even though, even with that, though, you can still place um, rocket turrets, or you can even place like here, ballista turret on the back. So that's actually good. You can place catapults and stuff on its back. But other than that, though, that's it. Uh, let me move this guy a little bit. So I can show you the little hatcher I built on it. Now, there's a lot of clipping with the, with Oasisaurus, though, because of how big they are. Uh, let me dismount. And you can see over here, you can place um, AC units here. So you can hatch some smaller eggs here. Now, if you're wondering what this is on my person here, this blue hue, you can see my hands, it's the buff that the Osasaur gives you whenever you're in its um, spring, this water area here. It's called Gaia's Embrace, and you can see down there. And so that's what that is if you're wondering what it is. But other than that, though, oh, our, our, one other thing I need to mention. Um, the Osasaur um, grows resources on its back. Um, it's uh, even though you can't see any right now, but whenever it grows it, in it it's going to have the resources in its inventory. And so whenever you're building, um, if you place like a foundation item piece in here, it's going to demolish that um, resource. And when it demolishes our resource, it's going to go to its inventory. Or if you go into its inventory, if you take the resource out of its inventory, it's also going to take that resource, that resource visibly from its back. But other than that, though, that's it, really. Uh, that's the Oasis Hall for you. Uh, it's it's a pretty cool uh, creature. It's a welcome addition. I will say that, though. And um, I'm looking forward to experimenting with different builds. Um, it gets to what a builder can place on its back or what fascinating builds people can come up with. But other than that, though, um, that's about it, though. If you're wondering what the, uh, um, what the water beans are on the top it's for catching water that way i can have water in um my um industrial cooker over here so that's that's what that is for anyways that's it um that's just me being a builder talking about um building on the back of an oasis or now with that guys roby out peace